I'm very shocked. I thought he was like a number one low cow, right? I didn't know that there was people that didn't know about it. I knew a lot of people wanted to see me react to it. But I didn't know a lot of people didn't know who this dude was. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 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 Susan. Susan, Susan, Susan. My other channel, Susan gave me a strike on a video from a year ago. So I don't know what to do. Um. Okay. All right. Well, with the video, if it's like that again, just let me know, and I'll uh, lower it again. But, yeah. So, you know, I wanted to learn about people new, and DSP is not someone new to me. I know a lot. So this is going to be like the first time that I'm reacting to something that I, I had already seen, and I can give some backstory if I see that he's lying. And this dude lies a lot. See, if you don't know who DSP is, a gamer, old relic in time and YouTube, right? Started off the gaming, right? Trash. Trash it looked. Shooting it from the TV. Looked terrible. And he developed a reputation of being a beggar, liar, cheater, all that. All bad things. That's what this dude is, right? And this guy, Secret Limited, who's a... Shout out to Secret Limited. Content's always fire. Every year after New Year's, we get one of these videos, and uh, they're a treat. So, yeah, I don't want to say too much because I feel like if people don't know, they're going to learn. But just know that I have seen this video, so not everything's going to be a shock to me like when I'm watching Cyrax. And that, I, but I think it'll be better because I can give a little backstory. And he's not gross like... Cyrax or like Cobra, right? This is like a lot different. I did everything wrong. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. Everything correct. Dog, he's a lot different. He's just very manipulative. If that's the best way I can describe him, he's very manipulative, man. So let's check it out, man. Top 10 worst DSP moments. And I got some criticism and I'm going to make sure I pause before I speak because I don't want to be talking over the, the video you're trying to watch, too. I knew uh, low-tier God before DSP. Oh, work. Yeah, see, I knew Wings, then DSP. Everyone else is new. But all right, let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Phil and let me know if the volume, too loud, too low. Here. Keep that in mind. I'm learning, man. I'm learning. I'm learning. I am happy with my life, as imperfect as it is, and I'm incredibly grateful for everything that I have. Definitely I don't have not grateful. funds to do anything with right now, okay? What I don't have any empathy for him at all for is guilting it to his subscribers or his followers to give him money. That's a fact. And don't ever speak up again about it because no one cares. You're misinformed. You're mis you don't know anything about it. Okay? They owe you nothing. Let's get right into the news. Mm -hmm. It's a decade later. You're begging for $10 and $20 to pay your rent. <laughs> Melons, what up? <laughs> Turn it up a bit. Got and you. they want to see you play a particular game and you say, hey, I can't afford it. Yes, they're going to be upset and they're going to keep demanding it. The reason why the company I work for gets away with it is because of people like does it you. Sound, does it sound better? Does it sound better? Does it sound louder? What is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, DSP. Okay, Southern Fool, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. Um, one of these days, I'll get it right. I'll get it right. Calling all nations around the world. The worst all 2021 nations. moments is among us. Thank you for taking the time and dedication to experience Phil's train wreck from start to finish. <laughs> if you enjoy the video, press the like button, comment below, share, 
and subscribe to the secret YouTube channel. Your support means a lot where other people around yep. the YouTube world Melons, you're in for a treat. You are definitely in for a treat. Can experience the very same video too. Appreciate it, son fool. Are we all good? Does that sound good? Let's get on with the show. Professor, man, what up? What up? What up? Yeah, I don't mind Keemstar either. I kind of, I, I always liked him. Why did I already lose 50% health? Fuck okay, this. I couldn't dodge. I tried twice. It didn't work. Fire game, by the way. I'm playing the new one. Great game. She starts the fight with a fucking bullshit move. Fuck this. <laughs> oh, this Welcome is a good one. Great one. Uh, you get a lot of experience from a lot of great people. I hope to be one of them. And we're going to talk about God of War today. GDC is the world's largest Our Russian legal team have any further statements. Professional game industry event where programmers, artists, producers, game designers, and others involved in the development of interactive games and virtual reality gather to exchange ideas, <coughs> present lectures, and shape the future of the industry. So in the previous level, as I mentioned, <laughs> the theme is the shock arrow, and we try to deliver on that all throughout the level. But what yep. you may not have noticed is that the shock arrow actually ceases around the three-quarter point in the level. I don't know what that means, but I know what they're talking about. Because we've shown you that these new items and abilities give you lots of different gameplay in the different levels, the flow is motivating. And most importantly, we can actually use that motivation to prioritize exploration. Here's a quick example. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let it play. I'm gonna let it play a little more. And then, cause you know, I'm, I'm trying not to talk too much. Okay, I don't wanna talk too much over it when they're talking i don't want to mess it up but i'm gonna let it talk a little bit but i, I i'm gonna let it go a little bit and then i'm gonna talk right before phil what starts the player speaking. does here as he boats around taste of vanier magic led him to new forms of experimentation for bam new levels of depravity clearly that's phil if you couldn't tell <laughs> you can definitely tell by his voice it's so nasally and annoying I've yet to play God of War 2018. Uh, it's dope. It's very Back. dope. Okay. So in this example, the player is exploring the hub. They've been correctly taught the shock. I'm just shocked they even used his footage, bro. I don't even know how they, like, out of everyone that played this game, because I'm, I'm sure huge names played it. They picked his out of out of nowhere. That That's the one that, that's shocking to me. And thanks to the design work done by Kai Zeng, They've also been told that shock arrows mean interesting themes and that there's a lot of different variety and a lot of different gameplay, right? So we've made a convincing promise to the player. So watch it one more time and I want you to watch just what the camera behavior does. I'm gonna be honest, I could never sit through this meeting. Huh? There's no way. New forms of experimentation. We're back. New levels of depravity. Look where we are, we're back. Boom, and there it is. He saw a shock crystal, right? He has been taught correctly. He has been promised interesting gameplay. And because he is returning to the hub, this is... he is thinking, oh, I feel like doing one of those. It's good for players to feel motivated via UI or completion percentages. These are very valid design techniques and tools. But it's also good if players are self-motivated because they're actually seeking out interesting content. If this player- He's just a normal guy like everyone else because we all beg. All the time, every day. Well, not not as a. Well, we'll get there. Like we'll get to the begging. We'll get to the begging. Then he can go and find more of them on his own. Players are trained that new abilities will be unlocked. All right, in the all right. Enough of the GDC. We get it. Okay, he, he was featured on it. Let's get to the point. So the promise becomes more than just completion percentages. The promise it's getting too nerdy for me. Scenarios. Joseph C. Boom. Okay. Now, Phil is not the most popular anymore. As of late, really the people that keep him in the news and, and our topic of discussion is the trolls reporting on the terrible behavior of uh, DSP. So the fact, like I said, 
that these people even picked up his his footage, right, and showed it at their press conference is already amazing to me. I can't believe it. Out of everyone, they chose him, right? Some people, I'm sure, people in the chat right now, that if their gameplay when they were streaming was picked up and used in a conference explaining a, 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 a game that you were playing, I feel like anybody would think that was a dope thing that happened and I, I know me, if they picked up like a stream of me giving a take and they liked it so much they wanted to show it to their conference, I would never complain about it at all. I would be flattered. It was cool. Let's see how DSP answers to it. Jesus, they use your playing God of War as an example of how they teach players the game rules for the levels or whatever. Your face is blurred out, but you can totally tell that it's you and your audio. Uh, That's illegal. The arrogance. This is... These are the little things. There's a lot more little things that irk me about this dude. He is so, he's just constantly ignorant. Just so they know, that's illegal. You at least, you at least have to ask me for permission so that I can See, give you permission and then they can, they can say, okay, it's, you know, it's a fair use of it. You can't just steal someone's gameplay and cut, lock their face out and use it at your conference. You see, he's so worried about the negativity because he'll go to something positive and be like, oh, cool. And then, but he'll do it in a way that he's going to big himself up. But we're going to get to that in a second. But it's just the first thing that he always comes to his mind is something negative. Constantly. Always negative. So they used my gameplay as an example of how they used in-game tools to teach me how to play the game. That's, that's cool. See? That means Look it. it was effective. They had effective tools. The player was able to learn. That's actually good. But that's monetized content. Yeah, the right back to the negativity. YouTube, I'll give you a little. And they're not supposed to be able to just steal it. So yeah, see? That's see? kind of messed up. That's this, this is what I mean. The ignorance of this dude. Kane, did you hear DSP spend over 2000 on mobile games this month? Yes, I did. I did hear that they spent that much on mobile games. I was going to, I, I was thinking before I started this, should we jump right into the end of the mobile games because we'll totally get into it and we'll talk about it because I don't think it shows too much in here. It might, but I don't remember. Um, But yeah, I didn't want to get too much into that lore. You know what I mean, because people don't know about DSP, so we're just going to, because I don't want him to be able to give you the chance to say, oh, that's uh, I, I did all that stuff in the past. This was 11 months ago this was made, so I just figured we would start current. But yes, I did. I did, I did, I did. They did that. But if someone takes your content and uses it for their own purposes without permission, that is not fair use. Yeah. Commentary, criticism, transformative work, those are all fair use. S taking someone out of s something out of someone's gameplay, blurring their face, and using it in your own creative project has nothing to do with the original is not fair use. Okay, but who at all. cares is my point. Just Darkness be... says you deserve credit for it. Yeah, like at the very least, credit. Right, if you're going to use someone else's content. At least give them a plug. Like be like, a plug. oh, okay. So I in the middle of their nerdy conference, they want, they want, DSP wants <laughs> DSP gaming plastered all over the wall. A nice little ad break where they where they promote his trash stream. What, what are you talking about? What you get? Would you just be happy? In, the, in this this example thing at GDC, but then the transforming the nature of being. I think. Because I don't think this was monetized, bro. It was like a conference that was recorded. May I mean, maybe it is monetized on YouTube, but I can't see it being. Or I just feel like it wasn't a point. They blurred it. I don't know about the trend. I feel like him talking over it live would still be considered transformative. Because it's not on. It's not plastered on a video like a commentary video. But he's still talking over it. So yeah, I, I would think. I don't know. Put on the screen, courtesy of DSP Gaming Channel on YouTube, right? It should just be. I just steal it and fucking edit your face out, See, and now act like it's not you. Whole tangent of negativity over something that could have just been like, oh, that's cool that they used it. All right. Fucked up, but this is these people just do it they, yeah. whatever they do, man. Fucked up. Yeah, that's how. Uh -huh. That's how crazy this was. He's, it's just the ignorance of this dude just irritates me. And I don't get irritated a lot from these people, but this one irritates me, this dude. Maybe I mentioned it a couple times on stream. Hey, guys, you want to support, please tip me or whatever. I say that, right? All the time. All the time. That's fine. It's well, not. you tip me, go ahead. I get more of the tip than the other transactions. I yep. keep more of what you're actually contributing to the stream when you tip me. So it makes sense if you want to help the most. Tip me because I get it right away and I get more of it. You understand? Okay. 
Okay, for the people that don't know, when he, he with his tips, uh, let's see, uh, ways that he's used to get donations. Uh, he said that if he didn't get enough, he wouldn't be able to make, he, he wouldn't be able to take his wife out to eat, and they would have to be stuck in the house eating sandwiches. Um, he's used the fact that he was uh, not paying his bills and went into foreclosure, or er, in his back taxes. And he had owed a lot of back taxes, and he was about to lose his house, so he guilt-tripped his whole audience to give him money for a house. He has, let's see, um, as of late, his TV broke, so he did the whole, oh, I need a TV, I'm not going to be able to work, and voila, the chat gave him a gave him a whole TV, ordered a whole TV on stream off the people. Uh, those are just a couple, just a couple very, very manipulative ways to get money. <laughs> Baby man gaming, yeah. Facts, professor. Yeah, save the house style. Exactly, 100%. Ignorance. Imagine me going up saying save the house, man, because of me. I, I had a popular channel getting a lot of views. I, I got a lot of money, but I spent it on nonsense, and I spent it on figurines, and I, I blew it, essentially, and then went into complete debt because I maxed out everything I had to move across country when I didn't really need to. Just, just, yeah, man. I would really appreciate it if anyone wanted to contribute could help out if they could. No, nope. That was a good one, Brown Bear. That is a good one. That is a great one. Yes, 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 yes. He needed to go to, uh, he had a fundraiser, right? Okay, so this is the things where he would say, oh, it's just a nugget of truth. Uh, it's all nonsense. Let's just think about this. He had a fundraiser that he needed to get, uh, he needed this money bad, right? He needed money bad. And it was a good chunk of change, right? And then all of a sudden, he goes to Connecticut because he had to go to Connecticut because he told everyone, oh, so, you know, my parents are getting old. I mean, they're old. They got medical issues. We don't know if we'll be able to see them. So he had to go right after he got this big chunk of change, right? Had to go. And then all of a sudden, he got married. Now, mind you, this dude's been crying broke this whole time, saying they can't get married, can't afford it, da, 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 don't got money for nothing. And all of a sudden, he gets this chunk of change, then flies over to Connecticut and gets married. So people's minds are like, whoa, what are you talking? Like, did you just take mad money that you said that was for this and went and got married with it? Just, no, this is what he is. And, but I'm the weirdo for thinking that. No, yeah, that's just nonsense. No, it's just it's just not it's just a freak accident. They don't do things like, oh, what do you think that you can make a wedding and just have to in a day and then fly out? Oh, you guys are ridiculous. No, um, but someone could have fronted you the money for your wedding, and this is a way to pay them back. That could be you know a reason. Already trying to offset a fifty dollar chargeback from earlier today. But you can't talk to him. No one can talk to him. Okay. Number two, I just got several fake tips tonight. I had to refund that cost me. Yeah. This so is a good way to. So not only did I have an incredibly slow couple of days, I just Death lost match. basically all the tips that I made today. I just got a $30 yeah. charge back Best against luck, my account. The folks back home and it was one that I was trying to fight too and didn't work. Oh, boo -hoo. To charge to Arthur, are you this fucking motherfucker who just charged me back all those tips? Seriously. To track to Arthur, thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. Take that money back. Seriously, if you are, I, I I hate you. You understand how much problems that gives me. Mm -hmm. You know style. That was a good one too. One hundred and ten. Oh, you know that right? Like you know that when I charge backs, now I gotta fucking go through so many hoops. And if that's you, you're a piece of shit. Never forget. You're a human piece of filth. A living turd. Weirdo, man. He's got a weird a fetish with shit. I don't know what his issue is. This has is. not updated in fifteen hours. Is Streamlabs down or some shit? Have you by chance seen the clip of DSP telling the viewers he's going to wake up his... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, there's a clip, right? Um, Just to show you again, this man's, like, ignorance. His girl at the time, who he met when she was underage, allegedly, uh, she was sleeping in the other room, sick. And he says on stream, he pauses the game, says on stream, oh, Leanna's sick. 
but I have to make sure or wake her up to go uh, to start making dinner or something like that. Like, oh, I, I got to wake her up and, and just like, and what, what? She's sick. Leave her alone. Go make your own. But he doesn't think that. He thinks, oh, you guys are idiots. Like, he's ignorant, bro. Ignorant. It, this is bad because now Panda. I can't keep track of your contributions because it seems like Streamlabs is fucked up. They recently did this again with Stream Elements. They, uh, send a bunch of videos of his past to these companies and they they nicked them uh he lost teespring he lost stream labs he lost stream elements and he lost twitch yeah they be cooking them man some of the well, well if they talk i don't remember if they talk about it but if they do we'll get back to it i can't even get stream labs to work right <laughs> what the hell yeah medicare all right so Resuming where we just were, guys, apologies, you know, obviously having technical difficulties and things that I can't control sucks ass. I have no idea why right now my Streamlabs tips page is not uh, working. I have no clue what to say. But I said, what the hell? I sent a help blog to Streamlabs to see what would happen. Yeah. You know, anything right now. No. Nope. Like I said, I've gotten no notice from anyone that there's any issue. I don't think that is the, the case. I don't think there's actually an issue going on. Okay. Since we're talking, since we are reacting to DSP, I just wanted to show you that my cat is way better than his cat Jasper. I just want to let you know. I just wanted to show him real quick, just you know, show you off that I have the better cat, by the way, and mine has claws. They didn't declaw them. All right, that's it. And I hope they'll look into it and fix it. We can it. resume. Okay. Benzugo lives, you cannot tip through Streamlabs, it doesn't work. You have to tip through Stream <laughs> Elements, that's the new tips link. That's my dog. He be kicking it here, man, a lot, man. I love this cat. Number nine, I can't use Streamlabs <laughs> to... Do you not remember why I moved from Streamlabs to Stream cat. Elements? The better cat. Because fucking Streamlabs... Funny enough about the cat, real quick, I'm sorry. When we were thinking about what we were going to name the cat, my kid, no lie, said she wanted to name him Jasper. And I was like, nope, no, no. Oh, we're not doing it. Not good. Could never be Jasper. I was also shadow banned me and didn't tell me shit. And I didn't do anything. <clears throat> Whenever it was that Streamlabs decided to stop accepting tips for me for no good reason at all and no justification, keep in mind, I never would have left Streamlabs <laughs> if Streamlabs didn't. Squirrels will murder them. For some odd reason, apparently shadow Thank banned you. me from getting tips. Thank you. See, you hear that, V? Number one cat, they call you. Number one cat. I got another one too. His name's Val. Way better than him too. And he's got these little two fans. Whatever. With literally. I love my cats. I'm sorry. No explanation whatsoever. I was too sudden fool. I was more of a dog person too. And then I couldn't have dogs because I'm never home. So went with the cats, and I love the cats. Uh, people don't like you, Twitch. People hate you. They think you're scum. <laughs> Twitch has been victim to the largest hacking dump in this history. This was wild. Ladies and gentlemen, Twitch.tv is one of the biggest live streaming service, if not the biggest live streaming service out there. And home to count. Gavin, I appreciate it. And shout out to your picture, West Side Gun, you know, Big Buffalo. Gamers, gamers, entertainers, musicians, podcasters, and people sitting in hot tubs. They fell victim to an absolutely massive security breach earlier this week, which resulted in a very large amount of sensitive data being publicly leaked. Mm -hmm. All of its source code is out on the internet for everyone to see. We're talking 125 gigabytes of source code uploaded to 4chan this morning, and there is a lot. Yes, Melons, now, I'm with you. Now, why did this happen? The person who dumped the data essentially said in a nutshell, Twitch has become a toxic cesspool, and I don't like it anymore, so fuck them. Here, take mm -hmm. all their shit. So this is the update. It's been confirmed. I don't agree with stuff like that. Yes, Gavin, I am currently here now 
Big Buffalo baby. By Twitch that they have been hacked. We can confirm a breach has taken place. Our teams are working with urgency to understand the extent of this. We will update the community as soon as additional information is available. Thank you for bearing with us. This is illegal. What happened is 100% illegal. Okay. Mm -hmm. no I don't agree with stuff like this. I'm not with hacking. I'm not with swatting. Like, keep it trolling. You want to make a comment? Cool. All that criticism videos, fine. Cool. Whatever. I just feel like invasion and crossing the outside into the outside world, to me, I'm out with. No one should have. Uh, it's just me, though. No one should have their, their personal data, the source code of a site. None of that should ever be stolen and dumped anywhere. I am staunchly against crime. I can agree with him with this. I am, too. I, I don't. I'm not with actions like this. What else got leaked? Um, financial records. And even salaries of the biggest streamers on its platform were leaked. Basically stating what people made on Twitch between like mid 2019 until when this data dump happened. The <laughs> Gavin, that's crazy, son. You never meet anybody from our city because it's so small. So that's wild. Yeah. See? 716. Day. Like someone made a spreadsheet of off the Dixon is in the chat. See, I said your name. I appreciate you stopping through. How much they're making monthly, how much they're making yearly. How much your favorite entertainers, or maybe least favorite entertainers, <laughs> yeah. on Twitch yeah. are making. Now, the reason they're showing this and they're explaining it is because, like I said, Phil has been crying broke. Phil says he barely makes ends meet. Phil is like. He's about to sell crack to get money. He's doing something. He, he needs money, okay? He needs every dime he can get, and he cannot live the way he's living in the poor third-world countries. He's jealous of because of they are living so much better than he is. He is in dire need of money. Why does anyone care about these numbers? It's already publicly available. That's a lot, bro. I didn't know they were making this much. I'm going to be honest. I knew they were making some bread, but I didn't know they were up more like that. I didn't know that. Right, this doesn't include sponsorships or donations, which is where a lot of money can come from. The yeah. Twitch earnings, yeah. as you may have heard. That was weird. What rank were you? 39. 1.5 on Twitch, bro. At the very same time, a lot of streamers are very transparent. For example, like me, <laughs> I always have the number of members or subs or whatever on my screen. You guys yeah. see when people cheered on Twitch because there was always a pop-up. So all my income was always transparent. There shouldn't be any shock to anyone to look at numbers of income that I made and say, oh, I didn't know that it filmed it that much. Well, guess what? It was all public. Oh my God. Now, hold on. I think this was a couple, yeah. What's that? Two years. So I'm bad at math. What's that? A year he's making. What is that? I need, I need to math it. I need to figure out divided by, t okay. So 49. He made a year. Boy, do I you, wish. You always knew what was happening with me, and you knew I wasn't filthy rich. <laughs> I'm not. Appreciate I it. want people to think yes. that I'm struggling. That way, they give money to streamers, because the way it works is generally... <laughs> All right, <I'm> often. <laughs> when streamers are poor, people give them that money. Is, that's that's less than 50K money. a year. People in social media circles, especially top-rated influencers, make a lot of money. Yeah, they can't pretend to be poor anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, because they're not. Oh, Phil, well, why you, you're, you don't do this thing that Dr. Disrespect does. Or This is my favorite. Now, when you criticize him, you're going to be, he, he, he's got an out now. See, see, I wasn't making that much money. I wasn't making this. You can't. Man. He picks and chooses when he wants to, like, it's it's so weird with him. Like, with, even with sponsorships, he'll, be, he'll use the fact that, he needs your tips because he can't make make a sponsorship. But then he'll say, 
you should support me because I don't take sponsorships and I'm not flooding you with ads. Like he does these little manipulative tact. I, I, I just don't like it. Why don't you do this cool thing that Maximilian dude does? Why don't yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, listen, 50K is not the greatest, right? But it's not dire straits is what I'm saying. You can live, but he ruined his life because, and this is only me, this is how I think, he started the YouTube gaming, right? This is all, this is me assuming. He started the YouTube, well, he started, he was one of the first ones in YouTube gaming, right? And he saw all these people that were probably inspired by what he was doing just shoot past him, just firing past him, making millions, all the money. And he is just still stuck at the bottom. So what do all the rich YouTubers do? They go and get a big house. They go get a nice house. He, only assuming, he wanted that. So he moved across the country and maxed out his life. And now he's ruined. Don't you have the production quality of this other content creator? Because they make 50 times more fucking money than I do. <laughs> I did see that profession. Oh, what? Oh, I mean, if you were value the bit, shut up. That's you ain't why. Worth none of that. It's not you need to like prostitute yourself for money. Like it's not that bad. Like you can live a comfortably. I don't. I, I'm. I feel like you wouldn't have. I don't think 50K warrants you begging this much. That's just me, though. That's a fact. He can't. Says he can't. Can't get a green screen. Oh, okay. Because his computer won't work. All right. Mor morons on the internet who think that this is like important it affects me at all it has zero effect on me where are you sorry where's that everyone knows that the date what the data is the data is his wife does but i i i think like i think she's just part-time for representative real representative two years of income on twitch by the way not one it's pre-tax data it's not shocking data at all okay I think I, I'm trying to remember because I haven't watched this in so long, right? So I'm trying to remember like what happened and what there is one part that I do remember very vividly. And when we get to it, we'll... a famous YouTuber. What is this? Oh, the oh, PewDiePie no. thing. Oh, my, this is so cringe, bro. This is it's so cringy. Cute. Die pie. And this is a perfect example of someone. And you, you could hear, you, you'll hear the salt in his voice. Wait, wait till he starts talking about it. But this is a perfect example of someone probably looked up to him. Pew! Shot hey, right past it. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? How's it going? My name is PewDiePie. Did any of you actually watch this dude? Uh, like, even as a kid, uh, did, I just. The voice, bro. I couldn't do it. Very, 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 very jealous. Thank you for being a bro and always being there. <laughs> Mercy, what up, B? Always. So fuck you, you piece of. Boom. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Kane. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I killed Jack. I, I never. I never. I feel like. A couple of these streamer fails we've looked at are like staged. Oh, but you know, there is one streamer that, uh, you know, forgot to turn off the camera. Sick man. Yeah. Sick man. Yeah. yeah. Do you know, have you seen that one? Well, I know mm. one. I dare not. Okay. 
Does everybody know the story of DSP not turning off the camera? Please let me know. Because if you don't, I will show you. <laughs> I'm, uh, it's, it, it, I show mercy. <laughs> Ooh, this is the chat. He watched it. I will show you if you haven't seen it. If there's enough people that say they haven't seen it. All I'm waiting on is like, <laughs> the point where he decides to battle the low. I see you. <laughs> Camera's been on the whole time, huh? I don't. Okay. All right. Don't say I didn't warn you. Hold on. Okay. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Here we go. Bing bong boom. I'll just let the title and the video speak for itself. <laughs> This, <laughs> I'm scarred for life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, he starts, you know, just like me. I start my live stream. I got, I got, <laughs> I got the stream starting soon, little tile thing that pops up. Well, his was, if you see, it's part of it. It says, uh, stream is starting soon, I believe. And he thinks the camera's off. While he's doing this. So let's just put this in your mind real quick, right? Just think for a second. He was going to start a stream, probably setting up. And he thought that before a stream, because people think it was after a stream. No, before the stream, he thought, hey, I should probably shoot a batch off before the stream. <laughs> Disgusting. I can't even listen to PS4. I can't even start my PS4. I got to take the headphones off, man. I'm scared, bro. Scar, look at this sick freak in front of everybody. He's probably happy these people are in the chat looking at his freak weirdo. Needs to be put in a cage. <laughs> freak. <laughs> first time viewers, bro. Imagine that. Imagine showing up for the first time and you see this freak. Yes, yeah, I like The Rock. No, dog, The Rock, though? Nope, nope, no. Nope. Look at, oh, okay, so yeah, stream will be starting. So he did this pre-stream, for real. Imagine me, you, you, that's it's happening when I'm playing 50 Cent. You're in the club, but I'm, and I'm just here shooting one. He just starts to stream after. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, no. He he, he was putting in pain. <laughs> uh, look, he's just freak, bro. Why, son? Why? Look, he's probably, he's looking over at the chat. I believe, man. Oh, how many people are in here? Oh, disgusting, bro. Oh. <laughs> Ooh! Yikes! What is up, everyone? Yep. Look at this. Hello, hello, and welcome. Just right after, son. <laughs> He's just gonna start streaming like ain't no big deal. Okay. Can we all agree that this can't be the first time he's done this? I will never believe it. This is not a first time thing. If it was your first time, I feel like you'd be intent. Okay. All right, I'm about to start a stream. Got to make sure the camera's off. Got to... No, 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 no. This is a common occurrence for this freak. Right before. Welcome. Oh, yeah. Oh, the camera's on. Big old snort right after, too. Look. The camera's been on the whole time, huh? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Look, you don't know what to do. He's so embarrassed. <laughs> okay, but that's what... That's what they were talking about. No, let's get that off the screen and never watch that again. Sorry, I did that to y'all. Say the name. No, he doesn't deserve attention. Probably still does. It's hilarious. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Snow Carl has tipped a dollar fifty. He says, I saw a clip PewDiePie took out of nowhere. He took a shot at you on his channel. Do you think he did this in retaliation? Are you talking shit about him or do you think he does it as a lazy way to get clout? PewDiePie okay, Snow Carl is a man that frequents the chat a lot. 
And Snow Kyle uh, usually, you know, sends out a kind of like a troll message. And then he's the one that kind of gets the answers out of Phil. But I, Phil knows, but still answers them. But sometimes they're too bad and he just gets mad. It's kind of funny. Pie is not relevant that much anymore. I mean, to his core Mal audience, I'm sure he is. But how many people do you see talking about PewDiePie in 2021? Okay, so DSP Gaming, DSP just said that PewDiePie is not relevant. Uh, then he said, well, no, uh, he does get a million views on every single video. Uh, but who's talking about him? The uh, do you need to be talked about the whole, like, your entire life? For, but to be popular? Like, what are you talking about? Like, the man is still making a living on YouTube all these years. He's winning, bro. What? Just, why would you want to be talked about all the time? You just want to stay in your little section of your community and, and the thing you built. You don't want to be talked about all the time. You don't want to be criticized. All, why would you want to do that? If he has a whole group of people that are going to watch his videos millions and millions and millions of times, and he's not talked about. I feel like that's a win. Phil, bro, you're talked about by every big creator has talked about you. And there has been zero benefit of it at all. The guy essentially not a one thing moved into his house he's in the hills. He makes a video every once in a while. It gets a million views because his viewers never go away. Right. But who gives a shit about PewDiePie? Right. This the millions of people you just mentioned, bro. This guy is still making references to things that happened five and a half years ago as if they happened yesterday. Because you can't unsee it, Phil. Okay? No one else does that. No one else just fires a stream up and shoots, shoots a batch off quick. That's People aren't doing that. referencing Dark Side Phil five and a half year old events. Okay. Congratulations, PewDiePie. Have a good life. Thanks for still keeping me in the back of your head. You know why they say how you live rent-free in someone's yeah. mind? Apparently, I will always be in PewDiePie's mind, likely because... No, that situation will always be in his mind. That's what, that's what will always be in his mind. No, let's be honest here. He was a nobody back in the day. I was a big YouTuber. See? He watched my videos, yep. liked them, and commented on them when he was not making content. He then was inspired by me and I'm sure other content creators to go on and make his content. And he became, of course, one of the biggest gaming content creators in history exactly he has the money but likely he still thinks about me from time to time and when he does he thinks it's funny to make a five and a half year old insulting reference when in reality no one you did it gives a fuck about him either not true so he should have taken keem's offer of 500 50k but you know why he won't it's because he's ridiculous even that whole but that's a whole different situation like he, he couldn't find time. Shut up, bro. Like you can answer the phone. This guy has zero relevance to the common to, to the common person today or the modern gamer. Like during the era when Ninja became popular and all of that, PewDiePie just faded right into obscurity, and no one talks obscurity. about this guy except his core audience now. So, yeah, more power to him. That's what he, mind you, Phil says this all the time. I just have my core audience, and that's all that matters. I have my core audience. But why is it his core audience makes him irrelevant and he's nothing? But yours is something positive, and that's a good thing. That I'm happy for him. You see, like, the hypocrisy. This is what this is what makes people, this is what irritates me. Let him keep doing what he's doing and be filthy rich. But, uh, you know, the fact that he has to try to take shots at me randomly out of nowhere, I think it pretty shows uh, the level of where he is in his mind. Okay. He doesn't even do anything anymore. Like literally what I've heard is all he does is drama videos. Like that's what he likes to do. Oh, gaming news. It's not news, it's drama. That's sure. all he does. He doesn't even like want to play games or anything anymore. Right. When was Mind you, he doesn't want to either. He's talking about, oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it. I'm too old, guys. I'm way too old, guys. PewDiePie ever judged as a good authority on games or anything he was always a jokester he was always like a, like a clownish character now he's changed his formula up and he feels like he's more of a different kind of guy but look what he does he makes drama videos he's fucking insulting me five and a half years after the fact it's like you see some things just stick in people's minds and this is one of them bro that was probably the first time we ever had seen something like that at all PewDiePie is not relevant that much anymore. Oh, but I love Secret Lemon's going to break down the numbers. Look at the numbers. And he's talking about, about irrelevance. 
made around 2.7 view a million views per video throughout 2021. DSP Gaming made around 900 views per video throughout 2021. DSP Gaming's views are 0.03% compared to PewDiePie's views in 2021. And he's talking about relevance. You see the irony, bro? Unbelievable. This guy has the unmitigated... If I could choose between the world and PewDiePie, I would choose PewDiePie. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah. Funny. The man that saw you and then past you in life and everything else i'm gonna play this game every single level i am not gonna skip anything that way I, we see the entirety of the game All playing right. super mario so challenge number one and i'll give you guys oh is this his 40 year old is this his 40th <laughs> unbelievable I can't watch one of them. I'm going to be honest. I can't watch one of them streams. I can't do it. So an anonymous dollar 30 tipper says, first of all, didn't I just use game reviews to judge if I was going to skip by them? Yes, because the consensus was every single person playing the game okay, had the it was. same exact criticisms of the game. The majority, and not only just the main ones, but even independent guys had general criticisms of the game that were all common. In the case of Biomutant, everyone kind of agrees the game's boring is dirt after about three hours. That's the difference. Very different situation. It's not apples to apples comparison. Oh, this one time he got very mad that uh, a reviewer uh, trashed on the game he was playing. It's happened a couple times, but one uh, very much so. And that's when he goes on the rants. That's why they brought that up is because it's one of those to show you, um, let's see if Phil can recognize his own hypocrisy. And it seems that he just glosses over that. And and th those are the points of those little random questions, just to give you some backstory. You know? I feel like more like I wake up in the morning and I'm excited. No matter what I'm playing, I'm excited to jump into it. I'm a variety streamer, which means I'm not always doing the same thing every day. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting yeah. off my weekly throwback session of Old School Street Fighter with some Geefster. All right, it's time to start with our weekly session of Old School Throwback Street Fighter fun. Anyway, guys, welcome yeah. to the stream. Welcome to Street, Street Fighter, Fighter, man. <laughs> I've never been a fan. I said that in the LTG. i just never been a fan of the game. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's the worst fight. It's the worst fight. Oh! <laughs> Obnoxious boys. Obnoxious. Currently, we've got Call <laughs> of Duty Vanguard on the November 5th, which admittedly it sounds like not a lot of people are excited for, and I've already said I'm skipping. I'm not playing the game. I'm skipping it this year. He has a point. That game is trash, and I will agree with Phil on this one. I know it's shocking. I don't agree with him often, but this one I will Vanguard was trash. First time ever that I'm skipping a yearly uh, Call of Duty, and I'm skipping it this year. Yeah. I always say this. I'll say it again. I love being a variety streamer. Yeah. On November 11th, I'm going to start with GTA 3. I what a cringe lord. Did you see the... I'm going to start with GTA 3. Huh. I'm going to. Like, just a corny f old dude. On November 11th, I'm going to start with GTA 3. I guarantee you, I'm gonna those do videos it. Those videos will have more views than anything I've done in like the last six yeah, months. And no one stood. GTA no one stayed. Everyone left. Brings the butts to seats. <laughs> Ooh, Zelda. Skyward Sword HD. Honestly, and admittedly, not a high-profile release. It's a re-release. Very sad. It's a game that people asked me for for three straight months when it was announced and would I be playing it. And I said, yes, I'll play it since people seem to want it. Now, all of a sudden, I'm playing it and people are like, oh, why are you playing it? Like, because you asked for it. <laughs> Thank you, Alfred. Biggest tip of the day. And I really appreciate that because we haven't had a contribution in almost an hour. Yeah, see? I really appreciate that. I do really need help with tips today, guys. Please. If you are going to contribute today, please tip me. I need money, 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 today. money. Come the on. Let's go. Money, money, money. Tip me if you can. I just want to play games and have fun, man. Hate that. The jowls, Darkstar. The jowls. Ugh. In the, in the stroke mouth. 
like that. Why you talk like that? A ton. I, I, oh. This is going to be interesting. Whoa, I got whoa, a good whoa, one. whoa, whoa. Get that. Uh, I'm not blind. Set it up so it YouTube. Only takes a I can only a see. For you guys. C. That would make. What, what would that. What? Def. Not C. What am I. Just let's pass it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I did not mention the Nickelodeon fighting game. I'm not playing it. Quite frankly, for what I'm seeing on social media, I don't think I missed that much. I hate to say it. One of those quick, quick appetizer style games, but not. <laughs> oh my God, Orion. Terrible. Necessarily a full fledged tasty game. It doesn't. It certainly doesn't have a full lot of fledged. Or Tasty okay. game. Have you ever spoke of a game like Tasty? What game have you played lately that's Tasty? Because I've played a lot. Man, like I said, I'm playing God of War, the new one. I don't think it's Tasty. You know, I'm a variety streamer. Yeah, I heard I, that, Phil. Yep, you told us a couple times. I like and enjoy playing a variety of games. Yep, I do. that would I, make you a variety streamer. Yep. Pride myself on that, that I don't just play the same stuff. Yes, over over. Phil, you just said it. You're a variety streamer. We get it. You play different games. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Mass Effect is one of my favorite games of all time. And yeah. the fact that we're going to be able to play it now with modernized graphics, modern improvements. <laughs> so funny. Shimogani Tensei 5 on November 12th, but here's the thing. I'm already in the midst of a, a lengthy RPG with Lost Judgment. I'm not starting another RPG right now. All through Lost Judgment. Unless this one dude, I forgot his name, would show up and help. I think he helped him a couple times. He complained. All the time. All the time. Too low. Sports low. You're not giving me enough. What was me? Where's the money? I need it, please. I already told everyone there's no way the whole time. until Lost Judgment's done, so that's shelved for now. I have variety in my content so I don't get burnt out on only playing one game or one style of game, which is really good. <sighs> I'm finally going to properly learn how to become a YouTuber. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Just an update. <laughs> Mel, you, did you ever see Pootie Tank? And the man that just repeats it at the end. Yo, it's hot. Yeah, you know, it's hot. That's DSB, man. Every day he starts to, he has a stream before the stream, like a podcast. And all he does is recite the schedule for like an hour every day. So I'll tell you the same schedule every day. A lot of RPGs came out this year that I skipped for various reasons. And in regards to Tales of Arise, I skipped it because I was going to be playing Lost Judgment, right? So with all these games coming out, the question is, what's the correct choice to play? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I do. That's why I'm a variety streamer. I don't just play the same kind of game every stream, and you know that. Uh, Melons, did you know what he is? Did you hear what he was? I just want to make sure you heard it. <laughs> 11 years later. Yeah. Holy crap, what a journey it's been. From 2010 to 2021, today is the premiere of Alan Wake Remastered. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was way too much. This thing erupted on me. Pause. So, okay. For World 1-3, since these are easy worlds, I'm going to do more difficult challenges. So, beat 1-3 without dying. Okay. He didn't, he didn't jump into Metal Gear Rising Revenge uh, Train when that game made him mad come back in the mainstream. Oh yeah, I don't think he's ever gonna, Metal Gear. Just, that got him in too much trouble. I don't think he's ever touching it. Boring. <laughs> Divinity Two is viewers' choice. People asked for it. I played it sixty hours, and at the end of sixty hours, people literally said, "Stop playing it." So, ladies and gentlemen, there's an hour left on tonight's stream. Here we go. 
We've really gotten far tonight, haven't we? Oh, yeah. It's, this is definitely a tips talk. When he starts nodding, mm -hmm, takes a sip. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm feeling it. And now it. every day you get idiots coming in here. Ugh, why did you do Divinity 2? Because you fucking told me to. Oh, my goodness. Uh -oh. So, guys, we got about another 45 to 50 here come. on the stream, just so everyone knows. I'd appreciate it if you guys could contribute to the stream. Right now, we have $11 a tip. Like clockwork, please. Like clockwork. Always. Shout out to King Jad. I like that dude, man. I talked to him once. Uh, I believe I did. Hold on. I think I talked to him. Let's see. Oh, and by the way, if you want to learn more about DSP, go check out this podcast. And your boy was on it. Hey. I think I talked to J King Jad there. You should check it out, man. Dope show. Dope show. Dope show. Shout out to that being said. But yeah, shout out to him. I like him. It's incredibly bad. Not going to lie. I can't do everything. I can't. Oh, you're going to see a lot. A lot of dead space jokes flying on Friday when he plays that new game with the Kalisto. Oh, they're going to let him rip. I guarantee it. I can't play every game. I can't do every possible thing. I, I like to play games for fun. Thanks for the money, dummies. Because that's exactly what you fucking are. A bunch of fucking empty-headed idiots who paid me money to get absolutely nothing out of it. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it, Sudden Fool. Yeah. I'm sure at one, at one one point in time, I'll probably jump back up there, man. I like them guys, man. But then on top of that, you got people crapping and laying on you. So, oh, he's lying. He's spending money on this and that. I'm not fucking spending money on nothing. I don't have any fucking money. You're killing me, Smalls. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I wish, I wish I was in a situation where I had money to spend on anything frivolous. I have nothing. All my money is going towards essentials. Oh boy. Yep. This is a good bag moment right here. This is my a good one. My day off yesterday was a mix of running out and doing errands during the day. Not super fun. Yep. But then last night, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. so it's, it, we're basically ready to go to bed. Yep. Okay. Real comfortable. Cap, you know, she takes a shower, getting ready for bed. And all of a sudden, she says, Phil, I think you got to come in the bathroom. We got a major problem. Said, major problem. On? I go in there. The shower's on. I'm like, what's going on? She goes, I don't go turn off the shower. Okay. Oh, I my bad. It. The shower valve was completely busted. The shower valve broke. It must have, like, broken off in the wall or something. Yeah. So, they're probably just going to have to rip down the whole house uh, to repair that shower knob. So, he's definitely going to need about, mm, I'd say, three grand. And so, the shower is going. And I, he's like, how the fuck am I going to turn this off? So, what I did is I basically unscrewed it a bit. I basically used my full force of my body to, to kind of, like, force turn the valve in the wall oh God, and i got lucky that it worked because if it didn't i didn't know how i was gonna fix this all the ceiling look he rocks like he's like slow like he's got like 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 i i don't want to say autism like a, you know like a like a someone like serial killer look type you know schizophrenic <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but he just he just looked like the rock is like he's like, got some mental issue, now, man. It has worn off completely, so the whole thing kind of popped off. But I can't even get into it to look at it because the way they built it, <laughs> you basically have to break yeah. the plastic turn knob valve to even do anything to Everything. get it off the wall properly. Everything's dramatic. Really, There's no way to remove the plastic head from the thing <laughs> that I can see. It's just stuck on there permanently unless you break it. So basically, I'm screwed. I have to call a plumber at some point to come here and look at it and likely the things how can you make this human worse oh yeah slap a hunchback on him and dent up his head like he is just a bad looking dude <laughs> so old he's gonna say you just replace it right he's gonna say replace the whole thing there may be some issue with the pipe too now because mm -hmm. things fucked up 
So I guarantee you I'm gonna have to call a plumber. He's gonna come in here, replace the whole thing, and charge me like, no lie, thousand bucks. Okay? So I'm now the fact that he's gonna have to break Blaming Cat for the snow is hilarious. <laughs> this thing off, rip it out, replace it. I guarantee you this is a thousand dollars. I guarantee it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The knob on a shower broke. Definitely gonna cost a thousand. Yep. You might say, well, why don't you call the plumber? I don't have money. I have no money right now. I and have that's where you come in. Hey, money, money. Zero dollars yep. to spend on anything. Zero. So I can't even call a plumber to come fix my, my shower. And now I'm like, now where's money supposed to come from to pay for this this plumber? Hint, hint. I don't know. Hint. Yeah, I don't I know really either, don't. DSP, but I think you do. It's going to come from you. But I just can't right now. I have no money. I'm, I'm right now for the next week. I'm yeah. literally strapped for cash. The only money I'll have. Me and Cat can't shower if you don't fix it. Is tips coming in on the streams? And that, by the way, I have to raise money to pay two big bills next week. I got all my utilities are due next week. So now in the next few days, I have to raise on. money to pay my utilities. Yeah, yeah, Phil, pile on that guilt, man, because you need that money, dog. Uh oh, here it comes. All right, so let's head back in here and let's see what we can do. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I just see a twenty-five dollar dip from the Brick Boy One Hundred Three. He's loving the playthrough so. Oh, I forgot. This is a good one, mind you. He packed all that on in this pre-stream. You know, the pre little podcast he does. He packed all that in, all that. I don't have money. Where's it gonna come from? Watch this one. Market with the great work your uh, if you haven't seen how much of a failure Phil is with cooking, I suggest bug cooking mechanics videos on YouTube. The person who made those put in Gordon Ramsay clips. That's funny. Orion, I would be blacked out. You're awesome. Now I received a $30 tip from Phil Smokes Crack. He says, oh no, I'm holding the leaderboard. I'm really ready for a tip war tonight. Tip war. Uh, Brick, the Brick Boy 103 tipped me $75. coming, baby. Says, you're on Phil Smokes Crack tip war. Okay, there it is. Yeah, Phil Smokes Crack took $100 and says, bring it on, motherfucker. Wow. Yeah. So Phil wow. Smokes Crack is now the top tipper. Yep. And I apologize that your, your pop-up didn't work. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brick Boy just did a hundred and three dollar tip. Jesus. And now Christ. the Brick Boy is the top tipper of the night. Oh my God, Phil Smokes Crack just tipped a hundred and twenty dollars. Did you guys see that? It's actually my. Oh my God, another ginormous mm -hmm. tip just came in. All right, pile let's on the finish money. this. <laughs> let's finish this plot and so then I'll shout that out. Happy. Dude, there was another freaking tip from Phil Smokes. Another Crack. one. Just, just, just money, hit. money, money. One hundred and sixty dollars. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! No. <laughs> Three hundred. Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Brick Boy One Hundred Three yep. just did a three hundred dollar tip. Jesus Christ! And said, "Beat this, Phil Smokes crack." Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate everyone hanging with me and chilling and supporting. It was a great yeah. time. Yeah. Obviously. And there's going to be more Lost Judgment coming later this Mind, week. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Mind you, this stream never made money, bro. And all of it, this only came. The only difference of this stream was Phil packed on the bagging heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Watch now. Mm, 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 mm. That's enough for a shower, isn't it there, bud? But did it go to a shower? <laughs> but did it? Now, for those who don't know, there has been a ongoing rumor that Phil spends a lot of money on this mobile game. Uh, DS, DSP Champions, wow. Uh WWE, WWE Champions. It's a stupid Candy Crush looking game. I actually downloaded it because I wanted to see exactly what you did. And you really match gems and these fat looking wrestlers just jump on each other. It's actually very stupid. But this dude is obsessed with it. Now, in the past, there is uh, clips of him explaining how he wanted to make videos uh, showing you how to pull the cool cards. I, just complete loser shit. 
to, to be honest, that that's what I would call it. But he went, um, so he was telling everyone he was do, playing mobile games, right? But then when the begging happened, he uh, stopped. He said that he never played mobile games, and everyone thinking that he's blowing money out of mobile games is all lying. Mind you, people have found out that he was in a Discord with a guild for this game, and he was grinding with people, and uh, they... They tracked down every name he had, and they and pretty much put the information out there like he was still playing. Phil, adamantly, nope, not playing it. Haven't played it since my wife moved in. I can't play it. I told her my mom, I told my wife that there's no way I can ever play it. But then this moron earlier this year uh, showed us uh, was recording a uh, video. And on the video that he recorded, this one wasn't live, by the way. This was a pre-recorded video that he didn't see because he's lazy, but whatever. Uh, he had his phone open, and on his phone was the screen for WWE champions. And But wait a minute, Phil. You said you didn't play WWE champions. You told the world that you promised your, or you knew to your wife that you couldn't play. You... There's no way I, it's time sink, money sink. I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I'm not playing. All of a sudden, his story changes. Now, it's, I told you I played mobile games. Duh. Uh, uh, what I Did I say no one time? Yeah, I'm sure, because I didn't want to talk about it, because that has nothing to do with the stream. No, 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 no. You said more than just saying no. You said I swear to God, I haven't played a mobile game in any capacity. Yada, 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 on and on and on, putting on your wife, putting it on your mom, putting it on everybody that you don't play. I swear to God, all this. A lot more than just no, but that's the backstory for this. So after he complained and begged about the shower, he got mad money on a stream that usually performed poorly. Uh, and this happened directly after he instant deposited those funds this is what he did style appreciate it my dog that's exactly what he do all the time <laughs> sick 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 They found out how much a plumber cost, man. They were not playing. <laughs> Facts. Jesus Christ. Yep. Constantly, bro. This guy, like. That was a crazy dog. What is going on uh -oh, here? Here we go. This one is going to get mad. Nuno Gloob, if you ever ask me a stupid question like that again, I'm just going to ban you outright. I mean it. I mean it, too. You're being a fucking complete dumbass by <laughs> saying something stupid like that. Look at that. Now, if I was Phil, knowing that that was a troll question, I would have just been like... I, Me, personally, I probably would have made a joke, but that's not... You know, that's not how Phil rocks. So I would have just ignored it. Over here. But you just make it worse, bro. You know that's a troll. This uh, self-awareness that people, or this awareness in general that these people just don't seem to have. Get it, yeah. That's a fact, bro. See, now, I can't give you any, like, backstory on this because I really don't know what these numbers mean because I don't play this game. Uh, I just look at the what the reading says. And if it sounds bad, I'll be like, oh, God, there he goes again being a scumbag. What I really need, I don't need any any more vests. If anyone is interesting, interested in computer, contributing to the streams in that way, I don't need a vest. <laughs> Cock me longer balls. What's up? Everything. <laughs> 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 
What's up, my brother? What is up, my dog? What I need are hats. I would like to have some new hats. I have new hats. <laughs> he don't got to <coughs> He don't got to buy anything. Uh, for my stream today for the first time ever. I've always only had a cowboy hat to put on if we hit the tips goal. Now I have four new hats. To wow, take brother. So every time we hit a tips goal on a stream, moving forward, people will be able to vote for a new kind of hat. Oh yeah. This is a great moment in history when I get a plumber there and blow the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, priorities, Who's brother. Priorities. God like just tip ten dollars, and he says, "Go and put on that hat." Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Mind you, this man. Let me give you. Well, I'll let it show, and then I'll give you the backstory. You know. Here, you know, virtually my, my hair is oh. turning white. All like crazy. Okay. My hair, all not my this one. Not white. yet. Not all yet. Right? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's funny, bro. Yeah, I know. We can't tell. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I know. It's a funny joke. Let us show off the hat. It's going to be the new hat. I have no idea how you guys are going to react to this one. Uh oh. It's pretty similar to another hat. The only difference is that you're about to see. Oh, thank you, God. McLonger Balls. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. This hat is rounded. It's a round hat. Nah, but for real, I do. Okay. All right, well, guys, digital one. I'm yeah, sorry. digital I'm one. Sorry, I just wanted to see a new hat. I don't know what happened. Digital one. I guess another another stream we try to reveal the two new hats. I don't know what's going on that people are like really building the fucking system. Pretty much, Guy Fieri. These two new hats. I don't know why, but digital it is. I like this hat. We have one tip. This ten dollar tip from Chris. Thank you, Chris. Uh oh. We were is going this to the see time? The, see the reveal of a new hat. This is live it. Live on stream. This right is now. going down. This went down in history. Now. Okay. Uh oh. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ah, <laughs> <Ooh>. uh, yes. <laughs> Hello. What a I great hat, DSP. Now, let me tell you a story. Back in the day, uh, our boy Phil was on a site that no longer exists, a streaming site called Blip TV. And on Blip TV, he thought it'd be a good time to not only debut dead space i believe it a dead space game but he would uh run around the game pretending to kill jews and go on a anti-semitic tirade on the jewish people so everyone kind of knows that story so when this idiot decided to unveil this new hat which he was like oh guys it's like uh that street fighter dude i forgot his name bison uh it looks just like his hat I mean, sort of, but come on. We we all know what this kind of looks like. Kind of looks like your it, it, the life. It came full circle. You first were <laughs> LARPing as a Nazi, and now you got the hat. General Bison, I'm here to take over the world with my, my forces of Shadowloo as well as stream and make some, make some money. <laughs> yeah. Boy, yeah, yeah, he's boiling. It's actually, it, it looks exactly like M. Bison. They're frying him right now in the chat. Lighten him up. Except I, they didn't have one with a skull, so I got a star. But it looks like M. Bison's hat. Yeah. It's supposed to be like a military hat. It's pretty funny. <laughs> you can see he's reading a lot. Like when he looks over and he's like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, they are cooking him, man. Look at him, Lee he's Placid. mad. Thank you for the super chat. No, I don't like communism. <laughs> How dare you even say that? Act it's off Pigler. I hate communism. Look at him, he's getting furious. This was so dumb. All hell, Iron Two Fear. All hell, Pigler. <laughs> Not a single one, bro. All of those hats are whack. I 
have mm -hmm. work I need done and nobody that look. The camp has the when he tucks behind the, the pop filter, that's how you know he's he's banning and he's mad. Time or inclination to help me out. Space Hitler is hilarious. Being called Space Hitler. This is what happens when you let the do whatever they want. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know they were gonna show it. Okay, this is the dead space. Uh, <laughs> his jokes. <laughs> You've let the overrun space, and now look at this. Yeah. Their greed has had the artifact turn everyone into necromorphs. Mm -hmm. The bleeps are him saying Jew. By the so way. Now I, the last remaining must exterminate. That was Nazi. Hello. Nine, nine, nine. Oh, he even does it too. Zero self awareness. I just think it's stupid because yep. people, of course, have to immediately associate everything with something bad with me because they <laughs> want to be dickheads and try to basically spin everything to be toxic. So because I'm wearing a military hat of the style that a ridiculous amount of people in history have worn, including M. Bison, a character that I frequently pick in a fighting game once a week, they got to all say it's a <laughs> hat. So it's just simple. When I see it, you're banned. I'm not even around. If I see you say it once, you're banned. This is your one warning. If I see it in chat, you are banned. I don't care if you're a regular. So mad. I don't care who the f you are. If I see it, you're banned. Yeah. Co Period. I'm not putting up with you trying to be toxic on my stream. I'm having fun here. And all of a sudden, I look at the stream chat. Everyone, oh, no, hit the No, how about this? Banned, 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 banned. Gone. Now, what did you think was going to happen after you did that? And that same cadence as the the Nazi, the Hitler, and uh, what's it, Glorious Bastards? Is that where that's from? I, I don't remember. Forever. Because I don't put up with your Your toxic is not welcome on my streams ever. <laughs> Period. So yeah. get the out now. Mm -hmm. It's not a funny joke. It's not. You're out of here. So I'm done with it. If I see it once, you're banned. And you're not coming back. No coming, begging me in emails. Can I be unbanned? I didn't know. F you, you toxic idiot. You got to bring up on my stream. F you're banned. Period. Now, <laughs> everyone acts like they didn't say it when it's been said for the past 10 minutes. So I can't wait for the first idiot to be fing banned right now. <laughs> <laughs> So I purposely went out of my way to get a military style hat that didn't have any symbol styles or colors or anything offensive. But of course, the asses in the net still said I'm a Nazi today. I'm laughing a bit at the memes, but you're still shit and blah. Loser, bro. Yeah, exactly, Melons. There is millions of hats in this world. There are so many different varieties of hats, but you pick the one that of a hat that looks similar to a, a Nazi, a German hat, and knowing that your history of the whole Dead Space debacle, why would you get this hat, bro? Nein, 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 nein. He just asked. Banned, 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 banned. He asked for it. D bro, you said it. The, like, <laughs> That is funny. Exactly. He knew double GP. He knew. Oh, what's this one? I don't remember. Oh, uh, Ducky Swerve, I don't have a Discord. So oh, the Discord. <laughs> I'm out. The Discord. <coughs> this is a good one too. This is another one that's just nonsensical oh, by the way, lies. I have your IP, I have your name, and I have your address. So congratulations. You fucked up. Yeah, I have your names. I have your information. Yeah, this was dumb. So go right ahead and go to jail. You will be prosecuted. Actually, it's a serious crime, and if you'd like to have yep. it on your record just for the case of a try to do a prank that no one can see. Wow, go for it, dude. Yeah, how you doing? Be awesome. One over in Europe. How you doing? Just, I have your name just, and address, so, you know, any day that I feel like 
making a trip across the pond, I'll come see you. <laughs> <laughs> it's really oh, smart doing those false copyright claims against me and giving me your IP on my website. It was very smart. Oh, yeah. Are we ready to start? By the way, again, one of those situations where you probably shouldn't say any of that stuff because you know that uh, the people that follow you uh, got a close eye on everything you do. So why would you think that if they spin everything and everything's a lie and they just spin, 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 why would you give them any type of ammunition? So when you're sitting here saying you have addresses, you have all this information, when people have asked you and you said you don't have this information, but you actually do see this information, why would you give them to that? Just, like You'll put a lot of the problems that you have on yourself because you're a moron. Everyone's ready. Waste. Anonymous is leaving the stream. Well, all right. See you later, Anonymous. Okay, then. Anonymous, no one has any idea what you're talking about. Yeah. So if you could please uh, stop being silly in the stream chat. I'd appreciate it. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Seriously. Like, can we? I'm trying to concentrate on a game. Can you stop with this now? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. He seems to be being very dramatic and is derailing everything. So please stop. The whole thing is being derailed, by the way. The whole entire day is derailed. <laughs> All right, everyone, relax. Everyone, please relax. I have no idea what's going on. If that anonymous has decided to not become be a moderator anymore, that's great. But I'm not going to have my st whole stream be derailed yeah. by it. Right. He didn't talk to me about this at all. Oh, check my stream. Oh, I don't know what the stream title is. I have no idea. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Be a uh, 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 anonymous. Really got him Bill good. Dox PW Dubs? No, I didn't. I've never doxed anyone. All right, so let's fix this. Yeah. So I believe the story of this was PW Dub said something in his chat and he got banned. And then P, uh, Phil has this thing where if you send him an email or or if you contact him, you may be able to get unbanned. Uh, I, I don't know why you would have to go through that, but whatever. With him, you email him and he'll unban you, I guess. Whatever. It's kind of weird. Uh, I don't need to contact y'all people to, uh, I mean, I don't ban, but I don't need to contact y'all people, but whatever to him, you have to, who cares? Um, since he has to, um, since this dude got banned and he was a super fan of him, uh, he emailed Phil a picture of his license or some type of ID card and Phil posted it in the Discord of his mods, right? And mind you, he, he said he doesn't have a Discord, not a part of him. But then after after this comes out, he has to admit he actually does have a Discord. And he talks to the mods, right? But that's the whole thing. And when he posted it to the mods, he didn't unblur any of the information. So he gave this dude's public docs, or private docs, excuse me, to uh leaked it to his discord so that's what this whole thing's about i don't know stupid <laughs> yeah right all of it the secret discord that he said he doesn't have and oh and then then it turns into always because he's caught and he can't talk oh well i told you i talked to the mods duh okay bro but you see this is the same thing he did with the the mobile <laughs> games <laughs> the farms man Let me just quickly take a look over here. Just to make sure everything's okay and then we'll begin. Okay, give me one second. He's got to walk oh. away. His setup is so trash. Imagine having to walk away to look something up online. Oh. Bro, you just wrecked your life.
DSP Gaming Secret Discord server is a place where he and his moderators discuss the fan base, tractors, and social media platforms all behind the scenes. All right, guys. Sorry for the derailment. Uh, Anonymous Mouse basically is an idiot. And yeah, of course it's a, yeah. Basically, he's trying to to make conspir more conspiracy bullshit up uh, that has nothing to do with anything. He's gonna go out there and try to say negative shit about me, like he yeah. he acts like he did some kind of a big negative thing by le leaking chats between me and my moderators, which I've told you guys for the longest time. See? Yes, me and my moderators talk behind the scenes about things. He also talks to people that donate a lot of money. Uh, that's another thing he likes to do. I don't know what he has to contact all these people for. I've never had the urge to contact not not one of you that I watch. I appreciate y'all watching, by the way. But the, the people that watch, I, I, I don't feel like I have to contact any of you. But in his mind, I guess he does. It begs, you know, it makes you think, like, well, what could he be contacting them about? Couldn't be maybe he begs behind the scene. A behind the scenes beg? What? A behind the scenes bag things like things going on on stream people trying to get unbanned nothing inflammatory nothing controversial at all yeah except pw dubs uh docs the leaks include dsb gaming asking them odds for private chat logs between them and chatters okay can't even finish that uh he is in the discord all hours of the day even as early as five in the morning 4.58 a.m. Lost his mind and wanted to get internet notoriety amongst Kiwi Farms. What a shock. Examples of banned words in DSP's chat. Pay pig. <laughs> Pay pigs. Beggar. E-beg. E-begging. Every, every little thing of begging we got in there. <laughs> DSP get a job. I don't get the XCON one. Masturbated on stream. I need to raise a lot of money this month. That's such a long sentence to ban. Jay Awkward Cheese, if you think it's an issue. Negasonic, what up? Too many of your fans are wrestling fans and love this sort of drama and heel turns. I Yo, cock make longer balls. Don't tell people that, man. Cock make longer. I am not always sliding in your DMs. I have no idea. I I don't think it has anything to do with wrestling. It has to do with people just being incredibly immature. This is further evidence that DSP Gaming is playing the mobile game, WWE Champions. This is the same game he already had spent 40 grand on. Jesus. Because, yeah, definitely. For y'all, it was a joke. <laughs> Cock McLonger balls. I am not. Your DMs. <laughs> another another person stabs me in the back. Another person <clears throat> tries to treat me like shit for whatever yep. fucking reason. He's just a he's just a victim, poor victim, never you're does anything. Arthur, are you this fucking motherfucker who just charged me back all those tips? Seriously, if you are, I, I I hate you. You understand how much problems that gives me. You know that, right? Like you know that when I charge back, now I gotta fucking go through so many hoops. And if that's you, you're a piece of shit. You're a human piece of filth. A living turd. Living. Now I need to go back during break. I need to go look at all the tips and all that shit. This is such a frustrating day right now. Okay, my bad. I had to post it. That was one way to post if you want to join the Discord. I wanted to throw that in there real quick, but I don't know how to do it from here. So I had to do it from there. I apologize. I don't say, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, let's back this up real quick. That Anonymous has seen and heard enough of DSP Gaming's attitude about the verified tips. Oh, yeah, he was getting a lot of chargebacks, too. He would stop the stream if you donated, and he would go on the PayPal, make sure that you had a verified account with all the information on it, by the way. And so he knew that if, you know, it was a chargeback, he had all your information to do whatever you wanted to do with it. So that's just whatever. Uh... Let's see. Just letting you know I did this right now. 
Uh, type one if Phil should play WWE champions on stream one day. Uh, fuck him to be honest. Honestly, I vote no for PW dubs. Uh, for the time being, if we unban him, it would look like there's no consequences for saying dumb things in chat. At the very least, he should be banned for a month. Not that it matters, considered uh, considering that immediately after his main account was banned, he jumped on a sock to ban evade. And this is the, and that why, was the message. Oh, why, Charity says, I heard you dox PW Dubs. Is that true? No. No, there was no private doxing. <laughs> he he sent me information to try to prove who he was, and he blocked off the information that he felt was too private. So I posted the edited, the censored information. Yes, Hawk Dixon, you're right. The like button is an easy touch. Everything. To my moderator team and says, here's what's going on with this viewer. FYI, because people are accused. There it is. That's PW Dubs just sent me. First of all, if he sent that to you, there's no reason he needs to be in the mod chat telling him or even showing the picture. You could have just explained PW Dubs just sent me an ID and uh, an identity to show and prove that it was actually him. You don't have to show people in the Discord your conversations privately with one of your chatters that, to be honest, if they're not giving you a suggestion on something, if they're not commenting, if they're not showing any love in the comment, anything like that, there's no reason to contact them, bro. I'm not hit. You don't need to hit these people up. You don't need to talk to them. Certain things and, you know, here's the truth. That's not doxing. <laughs> Stupidity. Uh, well, you know. Uh, PWW's personal information that DSP did not censor. Full name, date of birth, partial address, height, sex, eye color, issue date, military status, endorsements, license class, partial signature. Huh. That's a lot of unedited uh, information that could be damaging if it got in the wrong hands. Jesus Christ. The uh, DSP should have thought more. Should have thought more. Doxing the user's info on any type of platform is breaking Twitch terms of service and could result in a removal of the Twitch partnership. Well, good thing that's gone. That is a fact. Nobody should have to show proof to be unbanned. That is an insane rule that he has. Controlling rule. Do we know any other fake tips? I can just ban the names outright. Dang. Expand on. I don't even know what you're talking about. See who he says. It has to do with the 2017 ban of Anonymous. I have no idea. Yeah, now he forgot about Anonymous. Oh, this is him talking about. Um, this is right after he got banned from Twitch. You really think I remember? And they were all going through to see about the Anonymous thing. Randomly in 2017, a ban of some. I don't have no idea what you're talking about. Nor do I care. <laughs> Nor do I fucking care. Okay. Mm. Not a mouse was a moderator. He was unmodded on the first day of the viewer complaining about sexuality and his past. The anonymous uh, banned this viewer from the Twitch chat due to his inappropriate behavior. All right, let's see. Uh, not a bear. In fact, yes. Otherwise, I wouldn't have lasted this long here. You only made an account July this year. Nice coincidence how you started regularly tipping. And once you got your mod. Oh, that's it. Uh, received complaints from the same viewer about Anonymous and then threw him under the bus and refused to restore his mod status. <whistles> mm, by the way, go ask Beth and Vida about, uh, don't know who that is, and my relationship with him, how, what's been happening, just saw you both arguing a few days. You shouldn't, you should have seen what he was whispering. What? He's a sociopath. He mocked me for my, uh, being sexually abused as a child the night I was a mod. What? Oh, the night. Okay, I'm like, what? You got sexually abused the night you were a mod? What? What kind of chances are those? He started investigating me in the chat, so I kicked him. Or insti investigating. Instigating me in the chat, so I kicked him. He told DSP I was abusing my powers. Sanguine? I don't know who that is. An evil person? Seriously, that's not right. Both should just ignore each other. 
showed a selection of people the same evidence and they started asking Phil questions. Phil then emailed Justin Anamal saying he banned the person in question, restored his mod status, and then he could calm down. No apology. Oh boy. Make it up for being a mod. This this is what's going on, just to protect some dude's ego, huh? Stay in a mod so he could build up evidence of how deceitful and toxic Phil is in the Discord. He was an undercover agent. Great. Nana Mouse, you were such a oh, good... Oh, by the way, I have your IP, I have your name, and I have your address. Ooh. He got you good. I told you, Twitch is the future. Twitch loves me and my streams, and let's all have fun on Twitch. R.I.P. Twitch. This is great content, too. To see a man's whole career just in a second and watch how he reacts, that's a, some people deserve that type of, that type of situation, man. Yeah, this is a good one. Um, to be honest, this was the first time I ever heard of DSP. Because uh, my birthday is uh, in May. And this video of him being terminated from Twitch was a video that popped up in my recommended on my birthday. That's how I remember. On my birthday. And I'm looking at it, and I'm seeing this video. It's my first one ever that I've seen. I'm like, why did he get banned? And then I learned everything I do now. All streaming down at Robo 3 all of a sudden, people are telling me, what happened to the chat crowns? Oh, look at that. There's some kind of a glitch. Yes, Ob uh, Dixon is right. If you would like to, push the like button. Go ahead and push it. Only if you want to. Only ice cold. <laughs> Hello, Dawn in the chat, man. Appreciate you coming through. Uh, <laughs> they might have been, man. <laughs> they might have been. Just I can see DSP's a little tired. You can see Everyone's it. subscriber crowns turned bronze for no reason what the hell uh the subs are going away gone instantly so I said, on a whim i said well let me go ahead and check my email apparently uh, something mm -hmm. just happened very bad good you deserved this son i'm sorry you you were too bad you were too grimy on the site baby we had to get you From up baby twitch partnership removals notice of indefinite suspension and termination for dark side phil dear <laughs> phil burnell pursuant to the content license agreement and then the date that i signed this it, was so bad right between you and twitch interacting with respect to your twitch account dark side phil we're terminating the agreement effective immediately pursuant to the terms contained within sincerely twitch partnership team and that's it and i'm looking flooded it with all videos of DSP acting a fool. Killed the game with it. At, I'm like, it says terms contained within. There's no attachment on this email. It's just a just generic form letter email is all I got. Yeah, that's it. That's okay. all you deserve, man. There's no information. It doesn't say you did this wrong. It doesn't say, oh. He even got a stress pimple popping off his head. You see it? Look at it. Here's a, there was a violation, and therefore, you know, we're, no. we're going to give you a suspension or whatever. No, no, it's just, no. They don't need you're out of the partnership program. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So then he, I, think, I can't. Yeah, see, people are saying there's no cheering available anymore. <laughs> and I loved it. Oh well, I didn't love it, but uh, I saw it, what this happened. They kept re-upping the membership that wasn't there anymore. That was kind of funny too. I, the trolls are so uh, creative sometimes. When they, I wouldn't even think of some of the things they do. Now, I guess the bright side of this is I'm still here. The stream's still going. They didn't shut me down. They didn't ban me from Twitch, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, this one. Now, I don't know if this is actually 100% true. I, I can't. I no longer have a direct point of contact with Twitch. I have it in some this time. This would be some terrible luck if it was true. I used to have about a guy who I could contact behind the scenes to talk to about issues. I could talk to him directly, and he would tell me <laughs> what was going on. I haven't had that in two years. That mm -hmm. guy apparently got laid off or something, and they never gave me a new contact. I requested one, and they denied me. <laughs> it is possible DSP's Twitch direct point of contact is a song 
Bakari Hassan was fired following a sexual misconduct investigation. It's just like if it was true, it would be his luck that the man that he was helping him at Twitch was a sexual deviant. <clears throat> I have not, Negasonic, I have not checked out uh Tyrese Need. Snow Carl to me a dollar thirty says after Sherlock level detective where people are telling me trolls mass report you using the offsite terms of service report mail maybe that triggered it I mean it could but the thing is <laughs> trolls have been been fucking mass reporting me for shit I haven't been doing since the start of everything you know what I mean like they've been trying to get me off YouTube they've been trying to get me off Twitch they've been trying to get me off all these services forever yeah that could be a good one. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just the old videos that they sent him. I think that's exactly what uh, caused them to cut ties. Like, okay, you guys have been flooding us with this video of this dude saying all the craziness on my site. Uh, yeah, you got to go. Sorry, it's uh, about that time. They got wings There's off. No they got him you guys off. Are idiots. There's no fucking evidence because, like I told you, the information that was given to me by PW Dubs was edited to hide his personal information. You have no idea what you're talking about. and Just shut the fuck up now. Talking about the Chauvin trial. I can't see that being a reason. I mean, there's, uh, there's, like, I don't know. That's just. A uh, beast bought to me a dollar thirty. Like a public thing. I can't see that being. This might be a reach. Do you think this might have resulted through the conversations regarding the Chauvin trial? No. We talked, we didn't say anything controversial on this stream. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing at all was said controversial on this stream about the Chauvin trial. Anything that was that was said was cursory and certainly nothing inflammatory at all. Nothing inflammatory at all was said. That's ridiculous. Uh, I don't think this could have been it at all, actually, to be honest. I saw a lot of people saying that. I, did, I, I, you I don't do, believe. If you stream, you turn off your stream, and you immediately upload to YouTube, you are violating the agreement. And sadly, people are super gullible and stupid, and they think that they're smarter than everyone else when they're not. They're dumb as shit. <laughs> this uh, Phil's the smartest guy in the world. all partners and affiliates on Twitch, the official rule is you can't upload any content to any mm -hmm. other website within 24 hours of its production on Twitch. Uh, playing Don Garoppa V3 on Twitch against Spike. I don't know who that is. Again, what's this Spike? Chunsov updated their player license for sharing content to limit it, to limit most of their story games to only one chapter. A streamer said they have already received the strike. Back to the Stone Ages for them. Okay. Okay. I think it was cascaded things starting from the report of Phil having yeah, yep, yeah. Yes, could have been my what the video say. So I went downstairs and I, I spoke with my wife. By the way, cat <laughs> is completely upset. She's crying. Uh cat's always crying. Cat cat's crying when he sees the you your nice uh clip of you you know putting in pain before a stream. She's crying about that. She's crying about Twitch. I don't She's just downstairs constantly crying. Why is that? Shouldn't have married you, son. I'm tired of this abuse. I'm tired of being the guy who gets beat up. I'm tired of the guy. There's people on this site right now on Twitch. All right? They are doing gross stuff. They are doing sexualized stuff. They are preying on their audience. They are doing messed up stuff right now. Hi, Pot. Meet Kettle. Preying on audiences. Really want to go down that route? They are in the partnership program, but I'm not. Everyone likes Twitch so much. You like the quality of the streams here. You're already following me here, right? Yeah. That I stay here, but basically I end up kind of being in a situation where there's there's none of the fun stuff. There's no no cheering, no subbing, <laughs> no money. <laughs> so seems to be the there's none of the fun stuff here. I mean, I I always talk about how I love you people and love the sport, but I mean, the sport was kind of you know tips. I mean, we don't have that. Well, no we have tips, but you know, no bids, no other ways to get money. Emotes. YouTube is an option, all right? YouTube is an option, but it's not a guaranteed good option. 
It, it, here's the thing, though. I'll be very honest with all of you. I really don't like streaming on YouTube. You know, I don't know if I want to do that because I ha I absolutely hate the chat on YouTube. The chat is nearly uncontrollable on YouTube. It is. It's nearly. You just gotta let it go. I mean, you've done a lot of bad things there, Philip. I mean, you're just gonna have to let them rock, brother. I mean, you figured out you got your slow mo, so that's fine. But I'm saying, if you didn't, you would have just had to let it roll. Really uncontrollable. Ladies and gentlemen, I make thousands of dollars on Twitch a month, or at least I was. At this point, it looks like I probably won't be able to anymore. But I was making thousands of dollars on Twitch a month, out of which Twitch was taking cuts. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, every single time that you guys bought bits, okay. Uh oh, it's it's serious. The I mean, the twenty four hour rule. Oh, I didn't know it was like that legit. I thought it was like a, something that you shouldn't do. But if you do, whatever. Okay, every time that you guys bought bits, uh. They made money on that. The only way I can stay on Twitch is for you to support me with tips, period. If that doesn't happen, I got to go somewhere else. And I think he streamed for like a month. Maybe. I, I don't really remember. Oh, that's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about this part. When stationary, negative 75% damage. That's really bad. Stationary, negligent person. <laughs> White stationary. I didn't. Say, oh, shut the f up! I didn't say anything. What the hell are you talking about? People are f dumb, man. No, you didn't hear anything. You're stupid. Maybe, maybe you're hearing bad. Yeah, I remember the the the, the infamous. Uh. Arnold Schwarzenegger one, that, that was a good one. When he said that, oh, I didn't say that at all. I kept it up because I know I didn't say it. That was a good one. Uh, that was one of my favorites, too. It was definitely nincompoop following the row. It was definitely not nigger. It was, uh, it was definitely nincompoop. You ever think of that? <laughs> if you don't tip me here, I'll just go somewhere else and beg you to tip me. <laughs> right. Uh-oh. Well, I might have been banned. Yup. It looks like I was banned from Twitch, and I don't know why. Uh... I have no idea what just happened. But it looks like I'm down off of Twitch. I have no clue. Let's find out. Hateful slurs or symbols. I didn't do a hateful slur or symbol. Could have. I saw you. Saw, I saw you flash the swastika. I didn't do any hateful slurs. This is bull****. I've had enough of this shit. I've seriously f had enough of this. Sh I did not use a hateful slur on today's stream at all. B no hateful slur occurred. Just because someone clipped something that may sound like that, it didn't say it. I didn't happen. It did not happen. I don't know, and man. This is and I'm tired. Kind of it. It didn't sound like it. By Twitch. Oh, you said a racial slur. No, I didn't. It didn't happen. I'm not. I'm not putting up with this anymore. I had enough of this, man. I really had enough of this. Oh, this mistake forced my hand. I had no, no choice. I did not want to leave. Twitch better make this right. And he did go on this like, he's like, oh, I need a public apology from Twitch. I need the owner to pull up with a big bag of money dropping on my porch. I need all that if you want me back on your platform. Shut up, DSP. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Twitch is definitely, they kick Dr. Disrespect making millions off without saying a word ever about it again. Yeah, but you, they're going to go begging their hands and knees. Oh, please, DSP, return the 200 people back to our platform, please. Why was I kicked out of the partner program? And am I ever going to be eligible again to reapply for it and see if I can get back into it? Because this is how I was making my living. Okay. Yep. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, I have the email from Twitch Legal. They finally responded to me. Oh. Over two weeks after I initially sent my request. You're lucky you got one. I am furious right now. Furious. That is the least of the, of the way that I can describe this, how angry I am right now. 
Dear Dark Side Phil, thank you for your message. As stated in Twitch's partnership, I think his partnership ended the same day Columbine happened. Imagine that. April 21st, 2021 correspondence to you. Twitch exercised its right to terminate the content licensing agreement dated November 25th, 2016. That's when I had signed the, that contract when I had come back to Twitch in 2016. With respect to your Twitch account, Dark Side Phil, the agreement pursuant to the terms therein, <laughs> Very Twitch bad terminated the fools. agreement following its investigation of repeated instances of inappropriate conduct involving hateful slurs yep. in violation of section 4.2.7 appropriate conduct agreement what the f are you f talking about you lame brain pieces of hateful slurs i would say they were pretty hateful some of the hateful things he said hateful slurs yeah what hateful slurs do i use on my stream well secret limited take it away people are stupid other games like i have no problem but this game i there's, there's no surround sound they're yeah, i want to watch some it's so, so that was a good one too wow. yeah you go on youtube he was on like he was drunk saying uh, some fucking thing private are they stupid so shut the up trying to spread misinformation that's not what happened okay there were no hateful slurs ever, ever on my streams, ever. Since I've been on Twitch, I don't use hateful slur language at all. Ever, 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 ever. Never has he ever done that, people. And if you thought that, you don't understand what you're seeing. I can't, dude, they're still there. Two seriously. Two little sitting there. Meh. Oh my God, look at this idiot. I'm playing a game online and someone turns on their mic randomly and says, F you, you little f man child, piece, of you know, whatever they're going to say to me. I f bad, 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 man. bad boy. It's so bad. I'm the least amount. I grew up in a multicultural world. Every school I ever went to or whatever, I was surrounded by people of every race, color. I don't care about that. I don't I'm not racist. My best friend's by black. the color of their skin. It's a book. Obviously, it's supposed to be Asian. The name of the author was I Ching. I Ching. I Ching. Are you kidding me? I've never, ever used a hateful slur. Ever. And that me off. Look at how mad and fake it is because we, bro, everything you've done has been documented. Bro. So you may be we eligible know. for partner status in April of 2022. <laughs> Hey, dear Twitch. Oh yeah, that's a good. Watch one. this video and listen to me very carefully. I want a public apology mm. from you. I never did what you were telling me I did. There cannot possibly be evidence I did because it never happened. Not once have I used a hateful slur on stream on Twitch.tv. Oh, oh never, stop, stop laughing at ever. Be serious. Shut the up. I'm gonna tell you right now. Unless you want to be permanently banned again. Look at that. I got right back in because the guy's a Wow. <laughs> One second, we got this. Now nah, they're gonna get you before you revive me, I think. <laughs> no, what the my best friends want. You owe me an apology. Yes, you in do. In addition to that. In addition, I, I want a bag of money. And a Tesla. Demand that if you do the right thing here. You're going to reinstate my partnership. Yeah. And give me all the money PewDiePie made and Ludwig. Uh, uh, oh, wait. Does, is PewDiePie on Twitch? I don't know. Uh, Ludwig, uh, uh, Pokemon money too. Yeah, Twitch, because I'm the draw. if I don't get it, I'm never going back to Twitch. Yep, that's it. You're going to miss. Look at that face right there. Yep. That's what you're not going to get anymore, Twitch. If you don't reinstate my partnership, give me a bag of money and a couple cars, you're never going to see this mug again. As you guys know, I've already started streaming on YouTube this week. So far, so good. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of changes to implement. There's going to be a lot of things to get used to here. All right, it's different. But I Let's be generous. All racial slurs were done here, too. However, consistently demeaning the Twitch audience is hateful language. Uh, Yeah. Uh, it was, I mean, back in the day, definitely, uh, you going to any, I mean, anything, people were dropping nigga like, constantly. That, that, that was just a normal word back in the day, especially, uh, I mean, Call of Duty, online, anything. That, that word was getting flown around. 
But uh, constantly saying the things he's doing now, I could, I could see it's hateful. I mean, I feel as a community, definitely. we can, we can start building back. You're Spanish. We can grow. I, I have a hard time with gas getting to the Ku Ku Klan meeting, but I'm Spanish. <laughs> what? I'm Dixon. What's wrong with you, son? Done. That's the end of the video. Yeah, sudden fool. He is an entitled, overgrown child. Transitioning from streaming to a Twitch to YouTube with the ability to pay for Super Chats members of DSP now earns the same amount of money compared to what he was making on Twitch. DSP, yep, yep, yep. That's it. Missed it. Uh oh. Number one. With the next few days, I need tremendous help with tips if possible. Of course you do. I have no money. But I just can't do it. I have no money this week, you know. What can you do? Yep. What's number one? DSP spends it. The bank leaks. <whistles> this is the moment we all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Even if you don't know about it, or if you don't know about it, this is the moment you didn't even know you were waiting for. The bank leaks. We've covered that DSP begs for money. DSP says he's broke. DSP needs every dollar that you have to survive, or he might have to eat cat for real. Uh, a funny thing happened. Someone that I don't condone broke in to his, uh, they social engineered his uh, social security number and got into his bank. And in these leaks... Which our boy will show in a minute. Uh, a lot of unnecessary spending is what I'll say. <laughs> a lot of unnecessary spending. If you could please contribute, I would appreciate that. So that way I don't go through November making no money at all on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate this. I really need the help. I need to hit this goddamn tip goal today. Please, I do guys, too. Please I need to hit that tip goal. The tip goal is $3 million tonight. The next 20 minutes, please. The fact that he was begging for tips under the guise that he was Facts. poor, right? He's feigning kind of poverty, Facts. essentially. It's what people had a real problem with, and people kind of made it their, you know, life's work to uncover it. Facts. You're not Talk. supposed to ask for him. Right. The motherfucker begs for the. Who is that? That's my twin. Who is that boy? People had a real problem with, and people kind of made it there. Who you know, could that be? Cover it. You're not supposed to ask for him. He right. sounds the just like me. Who is that boy? Who is that boy? No. Okay. This is how I remember this the video. Okay. This is the first time. This is how people known in the community, the detractor community, have known me is because I have a podcast, Low Life TV. We cover a bunch of other things. It's not important right now. But what it is important is that my dog right here, Fresh, um, doesn't know anything about DSP. And I thought the story about when the bank leaks happened, I thought it would be funny for him to see a dude that begs for money. And uh, he begs for money. But he spent all this crazy amount of bread on nonsense with the whole breakdown. So I thought it'd be funny to show Fresh, my co-host. So that's why I brought this up. But what happened is, let me tell you, I'm watching Secret Limited video like I always do. And I'm listening to it. And I'm like, I put my, I'm at work. I put my phone on the towel rack thing in the bathroom real quick to you know, check the face, make sure I don't, you know, got the cold in my, you know what I mean, wipe that all out. And I start hearing my voice in the headphones, and I'm like, wait a minute, what is going on? I'm thinking I accidentally clicked one of my videos, and this dude featured me. And ever since then, people have seen me. I beg. <laughs> Twin. I don't know, man. That dude's way more handsome. That's disrespectful, man. That's. That's Just my dog the right there. Right. Shout out, man. And Whoever that is, a real to guilt dude. Trip and try to wring out as much money as he can from his very <laughs> devoted but very small audience. <laughs> I received a one hundred and fifty dollar tip from. <laughs> it's, it's funny to see you try to explain it, Sandy. I try. Just for the people that don't know, I try to give a little, you know, backstory. Death face. 
thank you. But to it's Death hard. Face. You're right. <laughs> yes, it is. It is legit. It's another one from the Devil UK. The person who took me two hundred dollars earlier just to be another two hundred dollars, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. I think I just received a one thousand dollar tip. Holy shit! Thank you to anyone who gave anything today. I was not expecting anything like this. Thank you very, very much. And Jeff, wow. Thank you, sir. That is amazing. Thank you for helping us. Really, thank you. Unbelievable. This is like pitiful, bro. When you see when the secret runs through the amounts that he was spending on things, like, bro. Man, 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 man. Because, by the way, this is not no, oh, I'm a, I saw a paper. No, no, no. P niggas was calling the number, putting the last four of his social in, and listening to that little automated service on your bank, reading it off. It ain't no just paper, I'm going to tell you. No, no, no. So on Saturday, Robot a person voice. on Kiwi Farms posted information. I don't like flamenco. I'm sorry, I just don't. Of how they were able to get access to the bank records of Darkside Phil, aka Philip Barnell. Um, one particular person managed to socially engineer their way into getting a hold of Darkside Phil's banking records. So what they did for weeks were social engineer, as they like to say, mm -hmm. the rest of it. That's a great take, Sly. I just want to go back. Look, I had hold to, of that was Field back in the early records. days. I ain't so even had the beard connected. Were, Look, at, I just had so, the goatee, bro. Just probably got fresh braids, so bro. So engineer, as they like to say. Not even in that same studio anymore. Uh, That's funny to look that back. That's funny. Piece of piece uh, has some serious patience sitting through the whole reading of the bank notes and put it on. Yeah. Yo, piece of piece would go for all that. He's a uh, worse actor than LTG. <laughs> I used to picture... I used a picture, but I do not know the man. You don't do a represent represent the image of what it means, dear Twitch. Oh boy, off oh, Dixon, man, you're losing me, son. You're losing me. Where's the? There it is. You can do that through some loophole. Shout out Meerkat. You can do that. That's my guy. Email. Me There's and Meerkat so are gonna make an album together. Trust. That you can uh, get somebody's information through social engineering. The people who got access to Phil's financial records did so with things that were very publicly known on the internet. So just, like, don't bank with Bank of America. That's the only takeaway I could take from this. <laughs> to glow up. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm with them. This whole statement reigns true for me. Like I said, when you take it out of in, internet business, I'm out with it. I never will be. And that's really what one of the things leaks have shed light on is that Phil's expenses are not necessarily things that you would consider necessary or urgent bills. A hundred percent. I'm from, uh, I'm in information, cybersecurity, social engineering is a real threat with time and effort. No system account company is untrackable. Yeah. It's okay. So the guy, I read some of the Kiwi thread or Kiwi farms post he made. And on the post, he said that he sat around for two weeks, it took him two weeks to figure it out. And he just put combination after combination of numbers until he got it. That is insane to me. Mm -hmm. So this is from March 2020 to September 2021. Mind you, this guy is saying he has no money. Broke. On May 4th, a debit card purchase for $5.05 from Amazon. Okay, a little slight five. On May 3rd, a debit card purchase for $5.78 from Starbucks. Yeah, a little slight purchase, a little coffee. Who doesn't like coffee in the morning? On April 27th, a pre-authorized payment of $212.33 from Liberty Mutual. Okay, he had to pay his insurance. Everyone's got to pay their insurance. I don't like paying my insurance, man. Insurance always. Eh, but you, you need it. On April 21st, a debit card purchase for $28.19 from Fred Meyer. Okay, I think Fred Meyer is like a grocery store, maybe. I don't know. I'm not too on sure. April 21st, 
26, a debit card purchase for $210.26 from Fred Meyer. Oh, uh, okay. That's a big load trip to Fred Meyer. I believe Fred Meyer is uh... On April 26, a debit card purchase for $48.31 from IHOP. Oh, uh, DSP. You're talking about IHOP. Now you're eating out breakfast too, bro? See that he started that day with fucking IHOP. I thought you didn't eat breakfast, you piece of shit. How many times has he said, oh, well, I was yeah. too busy and I don't yeah. eat breakfast and I just come straight to the streams and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm going to be very honest with everyone. This last week I had giant bills to pay. And by the time that I had paid them, I had no money. None. He never has money. On May... Third, a debit card purchase for fifty-seven dollars and twenty-six cents okay. from DoorDash. Mm, that's a hefty little uh, tab you got delivered to your house for a guy that only eats out once a week, but uh, makes dinners all the time. What DoorDash send you sixty dollars worth of DoorDash? Well, it's DoorDash, so actually it might not have even have been that much money, but still, or uh, much food rather. Uh, you don't have that money to spend on DoorDash. On May twenty-six. A debit card purchase for sixty-three dollars and fifty-five cents from DoorDash. Oh, another, another nice sixty-three piece for the Dasher. On April twenty-six, a debit card purchase for forty-six dollars and twenty-seven cents from DoorDash. So clearly, it's a running, it's a habit for boy to spend a lot of money on DoorDash, even though he has no money uh, to barely so pay bills. Thousand, you got a thousand dollars a week. Just in door dashing. That's insane. What is wrong with you? Things that you wouldn't get if you're obviously financially destitute and in a tough post spot. You just wouldn't. You just buy, eat, drink coffee at home. Of course. Sadly, uh, I ran out of money. <laughs> yeah, this guy has no shame, bro. Sadly, uh, yeah, I On am April broke. 26, <laughs> okay. A debit card purchase for twenty-one dollars and forty-six cents from PetSmart. Hey, you gotta take care of the pets. I I get it. On April nineteenth, a debit card purchase for twenty-one dollars and forty-six cents from PetSmart. Might be the cat food. On May. A debit card purchase for sixty-two dollars and twelve cents from PetSmart. Uh, maybe food and a couple toys, man. I don't know. Oh, litter could be food and litter. Okay. Jasper the King over there living living life like a bougie cat. That cat never. My cat is so much better than this trash. Cat, lived life bro. Where's, so. Where's my cat at, bro? Where? Where's V at, man? Good. He's, he got rescued by the dark Where's one. Where's V at, man? I have no money for anything right now. I can't even pre-order the PS5 or the Series yeah. X or anything. When, when can't do happens, anything. Can't, wait, so. can't even eat. It's going to have to have sandwiches July again. July 21st, 2020, a direct deposit of $1,537.87 from Google. YouTube got laced his pockets. On May... 17th, a credit in the amount of $4,241.11. On February 12th, a credit in the amount of $5,264.81. Twitch is lacing them. On March 24th, a direct deposit of $1,400 from Internal Revenue Service. <laughs> Stimmy. And holy shit, he got the fourteen hundred dollar tax credit from Trump. How? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how he got the stimulus. I don't. I, that, uh, but whatever. Uh, Jim Browning's videos are just hard as hell to get through at times because you just want to scream in anger as you hear people getting scammed. Damn straight. Uh, if you don't know the truth about history, we just do and repeat it, and it seems like it might be true. Oh man, DSP makes more than one hundred twelve thousand five hundred and shouldn't be eligible to receive a COVID nineteen stimulus check. Yeah, I, I'm not sure about the you know how, what you gotta make Another and what you can't make. Another trend is the weekly oh, visits off, to the Hawaiian more. It seems as if Phil has a habit of 
spending upwards of seventy dollars a week at a liquor store. In a month, he spent four hundred dollars on gin. <laughs> Total wine, 27. He spent like $500 at the liquor store in one month. On That's April. a lot of liquor, bro. In a month? 26th, a debit card purchase for $35.51 from Total Wine. <laughs> People in his chat kept showing up with Total Wine and Bahama Breeze. Like all these places that run these bank leaks. On that was a funny time. A debit card purchase for thirty-five dollars and fifty-one cents from Total Wine. On April twelfth, a debit card purchase for thirty-five dollars and fifty-one. It's like the same thing over Total like Wine. every time. He's just getting his. That's how you On know April he's just getting 19, his drink of choice. For seventy-one dollars and two cents from Total Wine. That's the time Cat wanted something. Cal, bring me up a bottle too. It is what oh, it is because okay. I don't drink gin. Like, I haven't had gin in a very long time. Fathead. Like, I mean, he just looks terrible. Now, mind you, when he's talking about he needs money, right? Yeah. This is what he spent money on. Yep, but you're right. That is what he spent money on, you moron. On April 19th, a pre authorized payment of $110. This is it. Yeah, the bank leaks were quite the entertainment while also being an eye opener of just how god awful it was. Oh, yeah, terrible. Uh, the one ten oh nine. This is a good one. And nine cents from PayPal. A couple of these, just you know, one on or two April of them. <laughs> a pre authorized payment of one hundred ten dollars and nine cents <laughs> from PayPal. On May 10th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09 from PayPal. Yep. On May 10th, a pre-authorized payment the of ominous $110.09 music. from PayPal. On May 10th, a People who have no clue what this is. Of what is that? 110 oh nine. What is it? On May 17th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09, wow. $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09,
went to WWE champions in March. You believe that? A third of his income going to the stupid game. I really need help game. with tips over the next four days to pay these bills that are all coming due around Wednesday-ish, okay? A pre-authorized payment of $11.22.01, he $54.99, uh, $2.62, $14.76. He could just be buying whatever the $100. Yeah, true. Uh, well, I can get the whole enjoying mobile games as I play Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle right now on my phone while watching the stream. <laughs> Huge jobs. JDX the kid. What up, man? Yeah, terrible strategy, Ryan. Uh, gambling, where uh, <laughs> you don't get any money back. <laughs> yeah, terrible. $110.09 from PayPal. The guy is blowing thousands of dollars on gotcha games. DSP, this is why you're broke. Mm hmm. He getting all these money from people and spending. Shout out Fresh, my dog. You know, this bullshit. Bullshit. But he's saying he needs it for, for like, bills. like super good. Look at all these. More concerning is the fact that <laughs> Phil apparently even incurred overdraft fees when he was buying microtransactions oh, in this Oh, man. Game. Again, not DSP. to moralize or grandstand over this, but this is sort of indicative of a addictive behavior. Yeah. All of... Yes. 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 If... Okay, this is my thing. Money is everything with this dude, right? He makes money uh, doing the tips. The tips go to PayPal. Uh, every time, every night, at the end of the night, he express checkouts his all his tips and puts them in his bank account. Why? If you don't, you don't need money at eleven o'clock at night. You're not paying a bill at eleven o'clock at night. What do you need to express it when you could just wait the two days and get a transfer? You're streaming the next day. You don't only you get one day off, like you say. You don't need to. So you're not paying bills every day. What do you need to express checkout? all the money you got every single day and keep paying that fee that gets higher more amount that you, you that uh you know you take out more they get more like why would you do that it's, you're doing something with that you need that money now because you got to jump on this stupid game bro your tips that you guys have you know submitted this week immediately are going to my bank account to clear these bills uh okay? no to grind On and get that May card. Third, a pre-authorized payment of twenty-two dollars and one cent from Apple iTunes. On May third, a pre-authorized payment of one hundred ten dollars and nine cents from Apple iTunes. On May third, a pre-authorized payment of fifty-five dollars and four cents from Apple iTunes. I got cards because I had credit in the iTunes store from presents from like two years ago. About two what years ago, I was old playing this dude WWE talking about card a ton, okay? And I was just playing the living shit out of it. I was addicted to it. I got a bunch of iTunes credits, uh, like hundreds of dollars of credits for iTunes. Now the thing is. I don't buy music. Like, I wouldn't buy music and buy an album on my phone to listen to or whatever and anything like that. I said, so here's the opportunity. I put them in. I'll tell you, I got a bunch of cards. I got a bunch of cards. What a Some loser. Epic cards, this game is so but trash. I guess they're really specific to a certain class. A pre-authorized payment of $22.01, $40.69, and $110.09, $81.44. One hundred ten dollars and nine cents from Apple iTunes. <laughs> yeah, the root of all and evil. He's going on here and guilt tripping these people into giving him money. Right, it's, it's wrong. Facts, bro. Bro. It is wrong, but these people, some of them, not saying all. Some people who know they have the fucking right mind know they shouldn't be sending this motherfucking shit. That's a fact. But they do it. Fresh, that's 100% yes, fact. We, we all know you're financially irresponsible. We all know you're an idiot. But holy shit, DSP. Like, how do you have a gambling addiction like that, man? Imagine Wings of Redemption criticizing you what you're doing. Man, you have messed up in life. If Wings of Redemption 
is looking better than you. It's actually fucking sad to see. It's not. Because now those banking deals basically prove what everyone was saying was right. He gets far more money than he's letting on. A pie chart. This is the greatest. They made a whole pie chart. Alcohol, $3,103. Jesus. Fifty-eight forty for restaurant and dining. Ten well, it's groceries, but ten thousand. I don't know. Is ten thousand a good amount of money? I don't know. Whatever. You ain't got no choice. You don't want to rely in federal prison over that. So okay. <laughs> Mortgage, you gotta pay. Mm. $44,950 on microtransactions. Wow. Talk about pathetic. Almost 200 grand. Insanity. IRS already had DSP shook it off. Yeah, yeah, right. He needed to pay that bill. Reporting WWE champions. <laughs> Deceptively strong. On his taxes. Holy shit, DSP. Are you trying to go to jail? That would be a great. Guys, uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to prison. <laughs> but honestly, that this type of situation, bro, when you go to court. Yeah, it's going to be They going to make a fool out of these people who is spending their money. This man is using your money mm -hmm. and lying to you every day and drinking himself silly every night. Over the last week, it has come to my attention and my, my knowledge finally that I have been subject to the crime of identity theft. Oh, this is a good, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. someone found out my personal information. Okay, let me tell you a story real quick about this identity theft because it's very funny. Okay, when he told this story, right, the first time it came out, the stream started, this leaked, then he had a stream. On his stream, he already had a banner up or, you know, that thing. You know how I said, oh, join the Discord at the top, the pin message. On his pin message, the message said, there'll be no trolling, this, that, and the third, or you'll be banned. Because everyone was coming in to hear what he had to say about the bank leaks. Well, fast forward till now. Uh, the Mind you, during that whole time, let's just go back real quick. Um, the whole time he was explaining the bank leaks, not once did he ever say anybody ever took money. Actually, he said that no money was ever taken. Now, since people were criticizing him and being like, "Wow, you've been begging for all these years. Why are you saying? Why are you saying you still don't have money?" Now he's saying that the people took nine thousand dollars from him. That's why he never told it before. He said now, and then he said all the leaks are wrong because the leaks only came out after he said he was a victim of it, which is not true because, like I said, he had that pink comment because of all the trolling that was going to show up because it was a new story that just happened. They wanted to hear it, so I just wanted to give you a little Asian, backstory. Whether it's stuff that was posted publicly or it's stuff that was not because i know for a fact that there's access to information that should not be public whatsoever my private stuff i i don't again i'm, I'm not supposed to say too much about it yeah Perfect. his lawyer said that he can't talk about it but he can beg about it but you just can't give an explanation but i can definitely come to he said oh of course yeah you can go to your stream and beg for money off the back of you know feel bad for me because i went through this but you just don't talk about it for advisement because yeah. of everything going on behind the, the scenes. lawyer for his identity yes. theft, a lawyer for identity theft, lawyer. This includes all kinds of stuff. Okay, it does, including <clears throat> con control over my financials. All that shit is illegal. Yeah. I mean it. Like every piece out there. Oh, look at this. Here's a, a leak, and I'm gonna use this to say def defamatory stuff about Phil. Yeah, that's illegal. And again, people are so dumb. Someone literally just said in the stream chat, so everything's real? What did I just say? Are you fucking deaf? You yeah, and he would shit? never repeat yeah, it. Yeah, you are. He only said that one thing one time, but he will never repeat it because he it's nonsense what he's saying, and he knows it. Honestly, bro, some of these people's getting money to actually see the dumb shit he's doing. 
if you are a person who is donating to Phil and you're doing it as a means in which to support what he's doing in terms of maybe upgrading his setup so that he can play PC games, that money will not be going into enhancing the quality of the stream. It will go into feeding whatever Phil wants at the time. The last thing that's really on his mind is improving as a content creator. And honestly, given the way that he treats a lot of his audience, I don't really think they'll even care that he's just straight up wasting their money on stupid nope. mobile games and alcohol. They don't care. People have come in like to chats and, and, and other people's and been like, yeah, I, I just donate to him. I don't care what he spends it on. Well, you should, you moron, because he's sitting there telling you he needs it and then you give him more, but you don't care. Okay. I just explained it. Oh my God, you gotta be fucking, someone just said what bills? What the fuck? I literally just said it. Yeah, that was one of his bags. Uh, well, for Phil to be a victim of identity theft, the information has to be correct, because if it's not correct, then he wasn't a victim of that. Yeah, so. And That's I appreciate still. this. I really need the help. I need to hit this goddamn tip goal today. Please, guys, please, if we can make it happen, I really need the help, okay? All right. I have no That's Phil. Ladies and gentlemen. That's Philip Bernal in a nutshell. True. Right now, I have not played any mobile game in any major way in over two years, including this fucking WWE game that these idiots keep bringing up. I'm stationary. Negative 75% damage. That's really bad. I've never, ever used a hateful slur. Ever. And that pisses me off. I told you, Twitch is the future. Twitch loves me and my streams. Dear Twitch. Okay. This is my problem with the money situation. Okay. He can spend it on whatever he wants to spend it on. But the way he obtains the money and then spends it on nonsense is why I have an issue. Uh, if he just spent it on nonsense and didn't beg, then I wouldn't have an issue at all. Do whatever you want. You want to be a moron with it? Go ahead. But don't ask for it and manipulate people that, like, I look at it as my kids online watching a YouTuber, and they see their favorite YouTuber sitting there begging, saying that they need money or they can't feed their family or they can't get this, they can't get that, and they feel obligated to give something to this person, and then you find out that he's just blowing your money? Yeah, I, gotta, I, I feel a way about that. I don't like that manipulation because I try to move in a certain way. I'm not bringing up money. I don't ask for money. I don't ask for anything. And... If I was to ask y'all, like, oh, I need money for this, it would never happen. But if I was to ask y'all, I need money for this, and then and, and you found out it didn't go to it, I feel like you would feel a way that you gave money under the guise it was going to this certain thing, and it wasn't. That's what I don't like. That's just how I am. Watch this video and listen to me very carefully. Uh, people don't like you, Twitch. So I went downstairs and I, I spoke with my wife. By the way, Cat is completely upset. She's crying. Oh, by the way, I have your IP, I have your name, and I have your address. Un Hit it. No, how about this? Band, 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 band. Phil, ladies and gentlemen.